Hi, I'm Bonnie Cha, Senior Editor at CNET.com, and today we're taking a first look at the Nokia N96. Uh, the smartphone made its debut at the GSMA trade show in Spain almost about a year ago, but you can now buy it unlocked here in the U.S. Smartphone is an update to the popular Nokia N95, but not a significant one in my opinion. Uh, first, the N96 keeps the overall design of the N95, but it has rounder edges and a sleeker face here. The display is non-touch, but it does have a built-in accelerometer, so the screen orientation will change from portrait to landscape mode when you rotate the phone. You still get the dual sliders design, so when you push the screen up, you'll get access to the alphanumeric keypad for dialing and texting, and if you push the screen down, you'll get dedicated media player keys for music and video. On back, you'll find a 5 megapixel camera and flash, and you now get this little kickstand so you can place it, the phone on a flat surface and watch videos on the phone. Um, and speaking of video and camera, multimedia features are the big draw of the Nokia N96. Uh, the smartphone camera takes excellent pictures, and it can record and playback video at up to 30 frames per second. Also has a robust media player, and the good news is that the N96 has an amazing amount of internal memory, 16 gigabytes of internal memory, um, which you can expand with a micro SD card slot. Um, it accepts up to 8 gigabyte cards, so you're looking at about 24 gigabytes there. Um, this all means that you get a whole lot of storage for your music, videos, photos, and other files. Uh, the N96 can also do more than uh, multimedia. It has a full productivity suite, email, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, and 3G support. Uh, there are plenty of voice features too, including a speakerphone and voice dialing. Overall, call quality was pretty good. We had no problems having conversations with friends and families, and I didn't experience any dropped calls during our testing. As I said earlier, the Nokia N96 is available for purchase as an unlocked phone, which you can use with an AT&T or T-Mobile SIM card. But the bad news is it'll cost you $776. Um, you know, despite all the features and extra memory, I don't think it's really worth the upgrade if you already have an N95, and I think a lot of people are waiting for the new Nokia N97, so it just kind of seems like an afterthought at this point. I'm Bonnie Chan. This has been your first look at the Nokia N96.